About 30, 31 out of 100 stop substance addicts have been given a new lease of life and reintegrated into the society. This is courtesy of the Christ Against Drug Abuse Ministry, CADAM, an outreach of the Redeemed Christian Church of God, RCCG. Our correspondent, Jacinta Obioku, captured the completion and graduation of beneficiaries from the various skill acquisitions put in place to restructure their lives, which held at the Enoch and Fulu Adeboye Rehabilitation Center in Araga, Ekbe, Lagos. There are many social factors that have resulted in the abuse of drugs. These include the decline in family value systems, peer pressure, social media influence, poverty, and unemployment, among others. These were once in that net until help came for them through the Christ Against Drug Abuse Ministry. Family and friends have come to witness the graduation of the 50th set of Kadam, themed, branded for Christ. Drug abuse among youth is already a time bomb waiting to detonate with devastating consequences if more concerted efforts are not adopted to address the societal vice. There is also an urgent need to establish support and encourage more rehabilitation centers across the country. The importance of drug demand reduction cannot be overemphasized. Because if we continue to take out traffickers, as long as there is high demand for illicit drugs, a new set of traffickers will easily be recruited to fit that craving. Every effort to treat and rehabilitate drug users is welcome, as it often delivers far-reaching results. We will need support from everybody. Those who are graduating, remember this alma mater. Those who have graduated, and from the general public too, most of it's a faith-based driven program, NGO, but we expect that some of you will spread the good news so that we'll be able to achieve this call to order. Some of the beneficiaries went back memory lane sharing their ordeals in drug addiction. Me, I'm a Ogogoro, I'm a Ogogoro woman. I can't go for my life, but when I was there, I was dying, people will really be carrying me all about. Like a chicken chicken. And I thank God today. Yes, you can see how we're all looking. Awesome. I could clearly remember when we came in here the first time. Ah. We were looking horrible. Some people went through Jonesy for three, four weeks, even two months. They don't just know where they are. I'm into art drugs, I'm into Charlie Time, cigarette, and um, alcohol. Really, it almost took my life away. And drugs depart children from parents and parents from children. It wasn't easy at all. You know, I had to adjust to a lot of things. I had to um, deal with a lot of things, open up to a lot of truth that I'd previously been in denial about, you know. Um, things like um, how badly my substance abuse had damaged my life, damaged my family, things like that. I had to own up to all that and um, face those issues. Dr. Dokun Adedeji is the director of CADAM. He could not help but express his joy for the success achieved, but most of all urged that the society not discriminate against the survivors. When you see people that came in like wretch, and then you see them transformed like this, and then we're seeing this kind of beauty, it gives you absolute satisfaction. Society should understand that we need to give a second chance to these people. They are our children, they are husbands, they are wives. We can't throw them away. According to Dr. Adedeji, Kadam has created a continuous support system for the survivors that would enable them to thrive in their various acquired skills. Jacinta Ubuku, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.